An object is allowed to free fall from a certain position. The acceleration of gravity is uh, 10 meter per second second. So you must always remember when object drop from the keyword is drop. Eh? When you drop something from the high, your initial velocity is zero. Okay? When you drop, you are this is affected by acceleration of gravity. Okay? So we have V equals to U plus A T. You know this formula somehow because it's come from A equals to V minus U over T. So U is zero, A is ten, T is two second. So your V equals to twenty second. No, V equals to meter per second, sorry. Not twenty second. Okay, meter per second. That will be the velocity after two seconds. Next, we have the displacement object after two seconds. We are interested to find out the S how far it has traveled, the length, the length of the object falling. Let's say durian fall for a length of 1.7 meter. Okay, we are interested in uh, what we call chang tu. Okay, or panjang. Okay, so we have a few formula to try. Uh, we can actually try v squared equals to u squared plus 2as. After rearrangement, we have v squared minus u squared over 2a. And so because of this, uh, but we realize we can use the V just now, the 2 times 2 power 2, no it's 20, sorry. The velocity just now, as we look back the previous page, is actually 20. So we have 20 squared minus 0 squared over 2, 10. So this one is 20 meter. Okay. So use the proper formula. Of course you can try another type of formula. You can try another formula like this. Maybe you can try S equals to UT plus half AT squared. So U is 0. So the whole thing is 0. And A is 10. And then t is 2, so 2 power 2, you cut this, cut that, you get 20 meter. Okay, both formula are acceptable. So, in the next question, still part of the same question they asked for. Uh, another object of smaller mass, meaning you have a small mass, you have a big mass, and you drop together. Theoretically, they will fall to the ground at the same time because they are acted by the same gravitational acceleration provided there's no air resistance you see if there's air resistance okay let's let's think about vacuum first in the place of vacuum tube you can actually drop a feather and a coin and they will drop to the bottom of the tube at the same time but in reality, it won't because feather uh, is exposed to a lot of air resistance. Okay, the air resistance will slow down the feather, but the coin will go faster. Okay, so theoretically, they will drop down at the same time. So this question says: State the difference in terms of gravitational force acting on bigger and smaller object. So if you have bigger objects, so the mass is larger. If you have smaller objects, the mass is smaller. So the forces is different. This force is larger. You know why larger? Because the mass is larger. They're asking for force, they're not asking for acceleration. Acceleration both also are the same, G and G. But because of the M, this one is actually smaller. So the force for the small object is actually smaller. And then number two, they ask for number two. They ask, is the time taken for both the same? Time taken for both the same? Yes. Okay. Because they have the same gravitational acceleration. They have the same gravitational acceleration. But number three, of course, they want to say something about actual fact. The actual fact is 
The acceleration of gravity experienced by both the object is less than 10 meter per second. You know why? Because in actual fact, our atmosphere is full of, with air molecules. When object is dropping, seems like it is being stopped or slowed down. This is really fast. Think of you as taking parachute. But there's a resistance force try to slow you down. If it tries to slow you down, you are actually going down less fast. Initially, you're going down really fast. But after some time, you become less fast. You're still fast, but less fast. So your acceleration is less.